What's up again everybody? Welcome to Yardis Kitchen yet again. So, yesterday we decided that we're going to do a really nice T-bone steak with some grilled veggies and also a really nice um, jerk chicken breast with grilled veggies also. And we're going to serve it with um, a real nice drink from my country called Sorry. So basically, we finished everything else, you know, everything. The T-bone with the vegetable was perfect. The jerk chicken with the veggies was perfect. You can check that out right here. But the only problem is I could not serve it with the drink because the drink, um, it takes a few minutes to put together, to prepare, and then um, you have to leave it overnight. You get me? You have to leave it overnight. Some people would do it the same time, but um, part of the way to do it back home in Jamaica is to leave it overnight. So now we finished, it's a new day and as like I said, yesterday the video that we created, you can still check it out here. Um, we just did a quick run through, you know, because I wanted everything to be complete. But today we're going to serve the sorrel with also a dish. Um, it's summertime, you know, we like fast food, especially if you're going to festivals or you just want to have some friends and chill, yeah? So today again I'm going to do a, another version of the Angus Jerk Burger. And I'm going to do also some jerk chicken burger also, yeah? So everything going to be made right here in front of you as always, you don't know? But first we have to get the sorrel out of the way, put it in the bottle and drop it in the fridge so it can chill, you see me? So stay tuned and keep it locked to your this. Out! Alright everybody, so here we have our sorrel, you get me? Yeah man, I wish you guys could smell this, but the smell of this, oh my gosh man, it's amazing smell man. It makes me miss home on a Christmas time, you know, because I remember when I was younger, um, when it came on to Christmas period, mommy would be in the house like uh, three, four days before, man. You know, we have to go outside and pick the sorrel. Picking the sorrel was one. After you pick it out of the tree, then you have to remove the pegs from the seed, you know, and separate them. And then mommy get everything ready and start making this amazing drink, yeah? So now, this is it, as I said, everybody. So what we're going to do now, we're going to extract it. Um, we're doing it old school getaway, yeah? Because um, we're just moving to this new house, so I still need to get a lot of stuff from my kitchen. So this is the drink here. So now we're going to strain it off in this. So here you have it. This is our sorrel finished and bottled and ready yo guys it was really fun making this because i said it brought back a lot of memories yeah growing up um we always used to keep our bottles then it could be a rum bottle or um anything any form of bottle with a key but more than likely we always use the rum bottles so we always used to make sure so we wash off the bottle them take off the labels clean them up properly so when you draw the sorrel that's what we call it drawing the sorrel yeah so we draw with sorrel we put it in our bottle and we put it in the fridge or sometimes you have some people who add rice to it to preserve it, you know. And with this now, you can also add some rum if you want to it um, to, feel, to give it a more kick and serve over ice. Me, I don't really like it over ice because I love the flavor. Alright, so here now we're ready to do the main course. So this is the Wagyu Burger and this is pre-seasoned um, pork belly. So we're gonna drop everything on the grill, yeah? But before we put the Wagyu burger on the grill, you already know some have to put some jerk seasoning on it, yeah? Understand? Can't be the same without the jerk seasoning. So right here, so we have my favorite jerk blend that I have with some um, crushed pimento and a little bit of garlic powder. So now we're going to baste the burger with it um, on both sides. Leave it for like 20 minutes. And after the 20 minutes, then we're going to throw it on the grill. Yeah, we already have the grill outside being preheated. So the burger already have the herbs inside of it. So now we're going to put some powder seasoning on it and just get busy, understand? All right, so we're there now. We're ready to drop everything from the grill, yeah? So we're gonna grill the watermelon, we're gonna grill the pineapple, we're gonna grill my jerk Angus burger, and we're gonna grill the seasoned bacon strip them, yeah? So right now, uh, anyway, this is basically a pork belly. You get me? You see how thick it be? Look at the thickness of that, yeah? Yo, when the flavor drop in, I'm gonna put that on the top, so it's gonna flow all of the juices back, I'm gonna float down in that. This big boy, you understand? It's gonna be a nice burger, man. Keep it locked, yeah? 